revivalhouse.net with another commentary. This one, as much as I didn't want this day to come, it's now here. Uh, We're going to do Biodome. Thanks to all you motherfuckers that keep uh, asking us to do Biodome. It's probably my own fault uh, because I kind of let it known that I don't want to do Biodome. I don't like this fucking movie. Zach loves this movie. Uh, We got Zach, of course, who's always here. And then Mitchell, uh, his partner in crime with the Mac and Zach Save the World podcast. He also wants to hang from Polly Shore's nuts. Viva Las Biodome, motherfuckers. (laughs) So, uh, we're, I just want to jump right into it. I I don't know how much we can preface this shit show, but you guys actually like this movie. And I, Mm -hmm. I I don't know if it's a troll thing or if you guys are fucking serious. Um, I don't know if it's like the fucking juggalo shit and you guys are just trolling. But we're gonna do it, Zach. I don't know where this came from. You, it's like, is it a DVD? Why are we? Where are we starting at? It's my Blu-ray. We're at we're Blu-ray. At Zach, it's on a Blu-ray. The Blu-ray starts out with a logo that says "All of Films," but it's not on the DVD. So we got to eleven seconds, and it's gonna start right with the MGM logo. That damn mm-hmm. tiger, fucking growling and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, this is going to be a hoot. Uh, we'll do a three, two, one countdown, and then we're just going to get right into this uh, misery. Uh, so, ready? Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, play. Oh, oh shit, Metro. What up, bitch? That Metro motherfucker, he's the good one, man, man. And it gets right into it, man, right into the greatness. In your bed, you can think again. I think again. I've I've never been able to make it through this fucking movie. Weasel Productions. Are you serious? How's that? I've tried watching it twice, and I just can't do it. He's a I little try- bitch, <laughs> <laughs> dude. You don't like the Baldwin? You can fuck right off. Yeah, Faulkner told us we didn't have to use those cigarette butts anymore, bro. I'm gonna guess these are all <laughs> fucking inside jokes. This fucking movie. I don't know. Why don't you stay till the end and find out? <laughs> Joey Adams. Uh, that's the chick from uh, that shitty uh, Kevin Smith movie. I would eat her ass. Mm. I would eat her shit. This is the most 90s thing I've ever seen in my life. Exactly. We were actually talking about that yesterday. We were playing. Uh, we started recording a freaking uh, Friday the 13th Let's Play and we were talking about doing this movie the next day, and we were all excited. And, and he's talking. He he started talking about like, oh yeah, man, the girlfriends, not the girlfriends, but the chicks in the biodome, they hot. And I'm like, the girlfriends are hot too. And he's like, no, they ain't. And I was the like, other one is, yeah, but not the blonde headed one. Oh, she's she's cute, dude. She I I let us I you know she I I want to hear her getting fucked, dude, with that voice. <laughs> That'd be awesome. She's kind of like got a Jennifer Tilly thing going on. She does. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Hey, give me just two seconds, actually. Uh, you fucking bitch. <laughs> like, seriously, I'm uh, one sec. I'm just, I'm doing a text here. Hold on. <laughs> I just spit out my pop all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I said you just fucking did that. Dude. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So people that don't know, we <laughs> fucked up and we had to like resync it. And shit, but you don't gotta we worry fuck because up. it's all fixed. We never you guys. fuck up. <laughs> it's all good. They don't got to know about it. It could be our milk. So, like we said before, we're gonna be watching Biodome, fucking greatest movie ever. And uh, Zach, why don't you tell them a little story about uh, Paris Video? Pretty yeah. much the start of it all. So we had wait, we gotta we got we gotta see the introduction to our great. Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> back in the day, we had this fucking video store named Paris video. And back when it was going out of business, me and him and his mom and brother, we went there, we were going to buy some movies. And, uh, so I remember you got Munchie and Munchie strikes back on VHS. (laughs) And then, uh, so, so that was all he got. And then I was, I got Brian and Chucky as well. Oh yeah. So I was like, Oh man. Yeah. When my mom gets off work, I'll have her bring me back and I'll get biodome. And then, like, he got the sneaky ass look on his face. He ran to his little brother, and he's like, hey, Richard, remember this movie? And he pulls out Biodome, and he's like, his brother's like, yeah. 
He's like, yeah, you like it, don't you? And he's like, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And his brother never saw it. He was just manipulating him into thinking he saw it so that he could buy it. <laughs> and then I would take it from him, which I did. Oh, so man. my brother ended up getting it. And Zach was so pissed off. You're a cock. I was a dick. Here's here's the introduction to our amazing characters. I just saw Kylie Minogue in that little fake little uh, TV thing they're doing. She's in this. <laughs> oh, is she actually going to be in it later? Yeah. Why? Was she famous for again? She's a famous Australian singer, and I think maybe she was. Yeah, and she's a singer. you're a peasant. <laughs> I was just reading in the trivia that she regrets doing this movie. And oh her, God, I bet. <laughs> and her dad Fuck. to this day, her dad mocks her for doing this movie. I would too, man. I'd I'd I'd, I'd, I'd disown her. <laughs> what I'd, a I'd fucking, fucking asshole for one, and for two, she's an asshole too, and they can both get the uh, fuck out of here. Fucking Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't, uh, but she doesn't regret doing fucking Street Fighter. <clears throat> Street Fighter. <laughs> Apparently she not. Cammy. She played Cammy in Street Fighter, and like she should regret. I mean, this that movie's got to be better than this, but Street Fighter sucks too. Hey, it's man. better than the newer one. Oh my god, that Chung Lee one's shit. Oh, I bet I didn't see it, but Wang Chung Lee whooping her ass while smoking played- a cigarette. <laughs> Dude, that's like everything. It's always. <laughs> No, but got, fucking Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat's in it. It's got the black eyed pea in there that looks like a monkey. The monkeys? <laughs> no, it's the black eyed. He plays Vega, the one black eyed pea that looks like a fucking ape. Oh, God. You're racist, yeah, you're man. About. you racist. He's not, like, he didn't even look black. He looks white. <laughs> oh, he's, that's he's, what I'd say, too. He's the Asian one. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Oh. The Asian one. Mahi, really Mahi. Have, I've always thought Joey Adams was annoying, but she does have a hot body in this. She kind of looks nice. <clears throat> Dude, I want to hear her get fucked. <laughs> Look at his. It looks like he has fucking weed on his head. His <laughs> shit dead. But don't call him a. But don't call him a, a Lee head. head. Don't call him a <laughs> weed head. Don't call him a weed head. <laughs> Look at it. It does. Looks like a bunch of spiders are having a meeting on his head. How the fuck did they get that imprint on that book? The book fell on him. Or he fell on the book. They collided. <clears throat> Man, so why is... why don't you like this movie, Aaron? It's, it's, I was about to say, it's already losing me. <laughs> it's like <laughs> fucking suck, dude. dude. What's so amazing about this? I think it's a defect in, in your wiring. If you ask yeah, me. dude, we need to fix him. Johnny number five is not alive. <laughs> I saw, I used to see this ad in like so many different 90s comic books I still own. Biodome, and I wanted to see it, and I'm glad I never did. Dude, this is a well, classic. You, you're seeing it now, bitch. Maybe if I did watch it when I was a kid, I'd like it a little Are more. Are you saying that you're glad you didn't because then the first time would be with the, the great Mac and Zach <clears throat> to help commentate it? Yeah. Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, bullshit. Cool. Bullshit. So you're telling me you never play you've never seen Jury Duty, dude? I've <laughs> Damn it, Jeopardy! I I thought he was gonna say, I can't find <laughs> myself. <laughs> Sitting in a tin can. I, I've seen I've seen Jury Duty, I think, all the way through one time. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. If you could sit through jury duty, you can sit through this movie. This movie's like 10,000 times better. I didn't say I fucking like jury duty. Oh, you loved it. <laughs> you said that. I remember no. you saying that. Dude, oh, jury, duty. <laughs> jury duty's a classic, man. Yeah, dude. All I remember about it was this dog that loved Jeopardy. That's it. You just remember that you're nobody's doormat? Mm-hmm. The one, the one with the, the corn. corn. Oh, I can Aaron, see his you're dick. supposed to say that too. I can see his bulge. <laughs> oh, dude, doesn't it make your mouth water? Oh, this is fucking sick, man. He fucking did that for this movie. Is he doing? <laughs> no, he's got something like some putty on his toes or something. He has to, or he's he's, he's fucking. No way. That's a fake foot. <clears throat> There's no fucking way. This is method acting. That is method acting. If that was real, man, I'd give an Oscar. But fuck. I just, I just don't think it is. Yeah, they both deserve dude, an Oscar for this. I movie. would do that to Polly Shore's toe, dude. 
<laughs> I'd suck Gross. all over that toe, bro. It's a toe, I'd, bro. I'd wet that foot up. I'd suck all over you that. Think this screen, you think that uh, scene is green enough? It's fucking green everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, that's the whole point of this movie, bro. This whole thing looks like a Kmart fucking ad, dude. like a Kmart modeling like a billboard. Look at the bladder busters. God damn, dude. I wish we had bladder busters. Bladder. Is that even a real thing? No, dude. Of course not. <laughs> Why is he wearing bladder? old man golf pants? Cause that's because he's got style, bitch. What's your excuse? You know where uh, he lost it with this movie? Is he finally gave up the weasel character. He's not the wheeze. Uh, no, he still is. <laughs> no, he's not, man. He, he just he, doesn't he have get... the crazy hair. Right? There's already one guy with crazy hair. He couldn't have another one. He's got to do... He, he should have did the wheeze, man. This is... He's a one-trick pony. Fuck you. It's like... Uh, I'd fuck Angel- him. <laughs> <laughs> I'd suck it. Just see what it looked like. And tastes like. I bet he's got one of those big fat ass cocks. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? It's like, I took it to a low level, but you just always, you gotta take it to that last step. Oh! Dude, that thing looked dead anyway. And I'm gonna leave it dead smack dead in the doorway. Hey. <laughs> Will somebody fill me in on what this movie's about? <laughs> he, just, he just quoted an ICP song and it went right over your head. It was awesome. Of course it would, because I fucking am cool. And I have a lot of Short and ICP, it goes perfect together. Dude, let's go to that biodome there. Let's go to that mall over there. <laughs> Dude, we, we should have did a big money Just hustle. Biodome goes both ways. What the fuck? You're supposed to like this. this is funny. How could they think that's a fucking mall? We should have did what? What'd you say? We should we should do big money hustlers. Oh, we should fuck do. That. You be sucking me quick. The Misfits have a cameo in that movie. No way. The fucking fake Misfits, does. really? <laughs> With Michael Graves. Mike and Zach had a cameo, too. <laughs> we should have. When we were kids, right? Exactly. So that she's drowning her son. And- is that is that Dylan Cole Sprouse? Look at that fucking kid. He looks like one of the... <laughs> is it Brian Bosel? <laughs> They should have put Mikey in this. Oh, hey. y- you want to hear some funny trivia? A no. rumor circulated years <clears throat> after this movie was made that this was an r- originally written as a Bill and Ted Part Three. No, are you but fucking it, kidding me, dude? It, 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 this was it was like rewritten whenever <laughs> Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves didn't want to do it. That blows my mind. So that's Bill and Ted right there. That, it's a rumor, so it's hard telling if it's even true. We're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna act like it's real. That's just fucking awesome. Even if the idea started as a Bill and Ted sequel, this movie's no way in the same form. They they uh, changed it drastically. I mean, this is a totally different movie. There's lots of desert. <laughs> so two idiots in a desert. Great. I mean, that's not <laughs> it's perfect. And then they go to that dome over there, biodome, dude. It goes both ways. They don't even stay in the biodome the whole fucking movie, right? Don't they like get out pretty early? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. you did stay till the end. I've seen it. I don't know. Oh, it's it's a. Uh, he's, uh, he's trying not to remember. It's Walter Peck from Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, brother! That's right. <coughs> Do I still remember that parking spot? Do you remember that, Zach? <laughs> no this parking spot. You don't remember that parking spot, bro? We got a boot. <laughs> <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude what if we were in this movie would you watch it aaron what uh, if it was Mag- i don't know no, i don't know do i know you in this fantasy land or no you don't do I, i've never met you in my life <laughs> nope no I, I wouldn't why would i <laughs> so uh whatever happened to that baldwin brother I you was just read. I, I was just reading that uh, apparently Alec Baldwin, whenever he was getting ready to do this movie, he he warned him that this was like this could be Gonna like kill a, it. Car- kill a career ending movie. <laughs> Who said that? Who warned him? Alec Baldwin. Oh God! One of his thousands, thousands of brothers. Right? They all look the same. They all the same look- person. Except it's like the older they get, the more pissed off they look. Uh, Alec Baldwin can't say shit about ruining people's careers, man. 
Dude, I guess that's career's been gone a long ass time ago. Well, he made a he's his career's bigger he than it was. Dick and got back up there a little bit. He's the fucking boss baby now. I mean, that's awesome. Is he really the boss baby? <laughs> yeah, dude, he's the fucking baby. I didn't so, fucking know that. Yeah, I don't. I don't watch that shit. Hey, it's the guy from uh, S- Sinbad. Fucking uh, fucking. I can't spit it out, man. It's fucking movie. Funny. God damn, look at him right there. See, are you telling me the other two are better looking? Shut the fuck up. The hell are we talking about? I fuck all four of them at the same time, man. Dude, you'd fuck your hand, bro. I didn't even say that they were better looking. I just said they were ju- they were hot, too. Hot tuna? They're not hey, on no, the same that, level of hotness, that's, though. That's the guy from House Guests, and I gotta say, we got a, we got yet another uh, uh, recommendation and request that we do first kid. So mm-hmm. we, we need to put that on the list. And that's uh, definitely a perfect type of movie for, you know, you, Mitchell, to do with us. Yeah. Sinbad. Love that people, nigga. People love that knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sinbad's that knuckle. My man. He, he disappeared. I mean, I mean, he got a little crazy. He's a little crazy, but I mean, it's, it's Sinbad. It's Sinbad. <laughs> I mean, Michael Jackson. And he played in It's Always Sunny. For like three seconds. Dude, people love the Sinbad, man. I think a lot you know, of people. Go ahead. I was just saying a lot of people really uh, liked and responded well to our uh, house guest commentary. I didn't know Sinbad was that liked. Yeah, you Who know, I think I think It's Always Sunny made fun of uh, the the fact that Sinbad made a genie movie and then disappeared. Cause in, and then It's Always Sunny, he disappears and they're not real. Yeah. So it kind of makes sense. I think you're looking too deep into it. <laughs> it's like art imitating life. Oh, listen to that. Oh, shit. That fucking same noise that my phone makes whenever it's time to go to work. It's so fucking Oh, noxious. mine too. Is that is that is that in the movie? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got it too. I think Kylie Minogue's hot, man. I'd stick it in her. Which they one is that one? Is that the she's, red? Yeah, she's the red oh, in this movie. Oh, God. Good lordy, my... Oh, yeah. You better believe it, bud. You're fucking she lying, man. You love she, the cock. You better believe it, um, eh? I saw your bumper sticker. Cowboys bus drive me nuts. They drive you nuts or him nuts? You probably like JR, you queer. <laughs> this queer? <laughs> These queer? <laughs> Who was that again? Was it that freaking Michael Myers? Yeah, it was Tyler Maine. Mm-hmm. Don't want to fart. You want that? Might take a bite if it came out of Charlotte Tilton's ass. <laughs> she <laughs> probably like JR, you queer. <laughs> oh, yeah. This queer? This queer? This queer? I got to go back to work. Joe Dirt, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever watch Joe Dirt 2? Oh, oh my man. God. It's so bad. I, I think I stopped watching it. After they tried to copy the fart scene again, or the after fucking hours of working, scene. you know what? I I I pretty much knew what that movie was going to be before I went into it. I knew it was going because it was a crackle original or whatever, and it's it was total. You could tell I knew the budget was going to be slashed on it, and I kind of left my expectations at the door, and I didn't I didn't hate it as much as I could have hated it. Um, I mean, it wasn't good as the first one, but I mean, I didn't like totally want to slip my wrist. I did. I'll never. I'll, I'll never watch it I again. I shut off. I couldn't watch the rest of it. Oh, so it's like Biodome for me. Why didn't he have the dreadlocks since he had Did you just say what I thought he did? Movie. Hey, did you hear what he just said? Yeah, I said... Uh, so he said, so it's too. a Biodome. <laughs> yeah, so it's a Biodome. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... That's fucking deep, man. That's too deep. Why is that deep? Dude, he said that the movie's shit like Biodome. This movie's not shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at their faces. I did not hear her. I did not. Not she. I, d- I did not. I did not. I watched the. Oh hi, Mark. I, we, I know. <laughs> I know. Everybody in the world has fucking talked about the room, but it's been about fifteen years. But I watched the room again with my brother last night, man. It's just like God. This movie's fucking amazing. It's so bad. It's just shit. I'm actually. I can't wait for- to. I'm actually what? looking forward to seeing that movie that they're making about the making of it. Oh, the disaster artist? Yeah. Yeah. I think this is his scene from Ghostbusters. They just took it out and put it in here. He's pissed off that they're trapping ghosts within the container. (laughs) 
But hey, Z- you know what movie I'm looking to? I'm lo- <laughs> Fuck it, so, this is hilarious. I'm looking forward to more than the disaster artist. I'm looking forward to the actual new Tommy Wiseau movie with the guy that played Mark. Uh, they got a new movie coming out called Best Friends. Look up the fucking trailer for that fucking movie. What movie what? is it? It's called Best Friends, and it's a new movie with Tommy Wiseau and the actor who played Mark. <laughs> What's up, <Yeah>. dude? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up, <laughs> What's up uh, dude? But but check it out. It, you'll, we, we were fucking rolling watching this fucking trailer last night. He should team up with Neil Breen. In all think. seriousness, so what if this Baldwin brother and Polly Shore were Mario and Luigi in the Mario Bros. movie? Oh, that'd have been amazing. How great would that I'd be, I'd kill Zach? myself. I'd kill myself. I would have came <laughs> so fast, dude. Dude, they, get, they should get Jack Black to fucking play Mario. Like, make a new one and have Jack Black play Mario, dude. They should get Jack Black to fuck Mario and then it's son of <laughs> Mario. And he could play the si- the son of Mario, too. And then have fucking the weasel come in and go... What the fuck, man? That sounds disgusting. I want to throw it's, up. It's Who's me doing that? tongue punching a fart box. Oh, you I sure? You sure it's not you cum cumming and tum tum? <laughs> oh, dude. Nah, we don't talk about that anymore. Putting your cum cum and tum tum? I fucking we listen never, to that shit. We never said that. You're fucking gross. Yeah, you heard something. I else. spit. Are you, are you telling me I fucking spit out my fucking Gatorade as I was driving when I fucking heard that? <laughs> and I over something I just heard myself. You spit the mouthful of jizz that you just sucked out of my cock. <laughs> dude, out of your tum tum. <laughs> He I and spit it. I in died. And his I died. I died. And if and if people out there don't know what we're talking about, you can listen to Mac and Zach's uh, podcast, uh, Mac and Zach's of the World, and it's their fucking three ninjas uh, kickback. Fuck, and uh, it just <laughs> man, you guys, you guys go there. You guys go it. to some dark places, man. We fucking <laughs> rocked that podcast. We made it our bitch. We never said anything about having sex with Tom. Tom we didn't. <laughs> We said something about putting our dick in the mouth and making it go down into the tum tum. You said you want to put you want to put your cum cum in tum tum. Nope, <laughs> never said that. That never happened. Yeah, didn't that isn't that what our lawyer told us to say? You're that? a sick fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's sick. <laughs> Who the fuck would you think know, that? Dude, that whole listen to that the whole time. Uh, I like listening to your podcast because the whole time I'm in my car and sometimes I think I'm recording with you and I answer you guys <laughs> and I'm like, oh wait. I'm- <laughs> Yeah, like, cause I want to correct you. Like, you guys are like, you keep fucking up knuckle up with kickback and it's, oh, you dude, can't no. get it straight. But listen, yo, listen, I thought we were going to do the one that went after that one, but then it was the one within the after that one. It's a But, but anyway, you, you guys were getting drunk. It was your drunk commentary. So oh, it was God. hilarious. And I kept wanting to correct you guys. I'm like, wait, I'm not fucking recording with them. I'm listening hey, to this my hey, car. Did you notice how like the further, the more shots we, we took, the more he said, I'm sorry. <laughs> he says yeah, I'm sorry yeah, I'm all sorry. the time. I'm he apologizes sorry. for nothing. And you you back up off your mic, Zach, for the first time ever. You're like, oh, because he's we're rocking. We're both rocking back and forth. We find out we're both just because I have like this little rocking chair I'm sitting on, and we're both just swaying. We're snotty. Oh, we're snotty. Oh, we're slutty. Oh, we're sluts with some tum tum cum cum. So I think it's safe to say you're not gonna watch this movie this time either because we're we're talking over the whole thing. That's my plan, man. It's my plan all along. I was gonna say that's my pleasure. That's my pleasure. He's, that's long, why he put both of us in here so we didn't have to fucking say. That's why he said we ought to talk about it. He doesn't. He's just gonna sit back. Oh my god, this is one of the best scenes ever. Look at her, <sighs> dude. This is exactly what I'd be. What doing is going right on here? here? They gonna Look, fuck him. Uh-uh. They're straight up molesting him. Look at him. Mm. Look, he's he's going down the panties. Ha <laughs> rape is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. We didn't say that either. Aaron just thought we said that. No. <laughs> I wanna fuck that cow. I wanna eat it with the frog legs. How, so how yeah, does my mold look, guys? So, yeah, this movie fucking sucks. Like, we've been trolling you. Yeah, we hate this fucking movie, dude. This movie's fucking terrible. I can't terrible. believe he fell for it. I think we should stop it and be the first podcast to ever quit a movie. <laughs> and I then start playing it me. after we stop fucking... And then me and Zach <laughs> will continue watching it after we get off here. Are no, fu- just joking. You- this movie's fucking amazing. Yeah, hey, dude. be straight with me. Be straight with our listeners. Are you fucking with me? Well, first of all, we're, we can't be straight because we're not. We're, like, crooked and shit. 
<laughs> and our brains. There's something wrong. I think our our mom. This is a picture of me and my mom, and she's. This is her dropping me on my head. So we've been dropped. So I ate paint chips as a kid. He got dropped. So <laughs> yeah, we're just, we're just joking, dude. Yeah, this movie's fucking 100 percent amazing. No, you guys are fucking trolling, man. Nobody no. in their right mind would think this movie was good. As soon as we're done, I'm gonna watch this movie again because we're not even watching it now. We're just talking over it. Dude, yeah. This makes me actually want to watch it <laughs> without the nonsense, yo. Like, <laughs> does, does Stephen Baldwin does Stephen Baldwin have any fucking lines in this movie or does he just look like a retard the whole movie? Is it just like his job a little bit of a retard? Both? Listen. So he didn't say anything there. I know. <laughs> he just smiles. A lot of physical acting. <laughs> he just has to have the dope, weed-ass looking dreads. <laughs> and they're going to smoke a cigarette. I remember the first time we wa- I watched dude, this. I was watching like, they're smoking cigarettes, dude. You know what's fucking sad is the first time I watched this, I liked Doyle better. Yeah, I was fucking, fucking stupid. Who's Doyle? Is that one of them? What's their fucking names? Yeah. Bud and Doyle, man. Doyle's the dreads. Yeah, I, love, I love Doyle. Oh, now, dude, we try. This is a scene that me and Zach actually tried to do, and we recorded it. And my fucking shaver ran out of fucking charge, dude. So his <laughs> dog Gizmo was pretty much hash, half shaven, and he looked like shit. Like we made, we gave him a mohawk on his head and everything, and it, it it stopped working. We even plugged it in for a little bit; it just would not go anymore. I think he destroyed my shaver, so he had like. Half of his body was shaven completely. His head was shaven completely. He had a mohawk. We took him into uh, his sister's room, and she she saw him and said, "You guys are so stupid." And then when she actually woke up, she started crying. <laughs> yep. What the fuck is Stephen Baldwin doing? Scratching Jacking his nads, off, bro. Man. He's got Holy a wicked shit. itch on his nads, bro. He said that. Have He's you ever not, done that though? You're fucking stupid. You're not paying attention to this fucking great movie. <laughs> yeah, dude. Have you, ever, have you ever had that happen though? Have you ever shaved half your face on accident? Like I, I shaved, I had a big bushy beard. I'd grown out for like five months and I was in China and then I decided I you wanted to, to shave it. it. Yeah. Yeah. I lived in China for a long time. What? And, yeah. Cha, 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 China, fucking yeah. awesome, dude. Cha, cha, and, cha, 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 cha. Yeah. And then cha, 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 I, I had this like, I had this bean, little, no, I had this little bitty fucking <laughs> razor and it was yeah, this little bitty rape. Hey, look, Biodome. <laughs> What'd go you ahead, say about go Ray? Ahead, go ahead and say it. No, yeah, no, no, it's go over. It. It's over. Just sit it. So what you're really trying to say is... <laughs> go Nothing. Ahead tell us. Go ahead. No, tell us. fuck it's, all yeah, you. Dude, it's fucking hard. I wasn't doing it on purpose. It's hard when there's three people, man. No, what I was saying is I had a little razor and... It was battery operated because I didn't have the right like conversion voltage or whatever. And this fucking thing... No, that's what, no, I, my razor, my razor, I didn't have the right voltage adapter and I fucking blew Show it out. Me take. And I yeah. shaved half of this giant Yeti beard, half of it. And I, the other half, I looked like a mental patient and I, I couldn't <laughs> shave it. And I had to so walk. Two face? I was fucking two face, but like not even, it looked like horrible. And I had to walk, uh, to some like little corner Chinese shop. Um, nobody speaks English. Everybody's looking at me like an idiot anyway, cause I'm an American for God's <laughs> sakes. And I Somebody get this crazy. guy back in the fucking asylum. Yeah, and then so I go and I buy, I had to go buy this store and I had to go buy this fucking little uh, battery operator razor and it was the most painful shit of my life. But yeah, people were looking at me like I was crazy. So how long did you live there for? Uh, I was in China, ah, six months. I was in, I was gone for a long time, different places. I was in China. What did you go there for? Just to live, man. <laughs> to live. That's pretty badass, dude. I, 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 I worship you. I was gone for about five years. We're not and- worthy. In the five years I was gone, I, I divvied up that time between uh, uh, England, Scotland, uh, China, Japan, and Russia. Just kind of all those places. But You went to Japan? Hey. To Japan, yes. If you went to Japan, did you ever hear Japan Carrot. 4? Carrot. J- Japan Whore? What? No, Japan, Japan 4. Did you ever hear that band? That's a, I heard that was a good band in Japan. No. Nope. You never heard Japan 4? Spill the strategy. Oh. Shit, alright. Look it up on MySpace. And that's it. Just drop it. That's the end of the joke right there. And if he wants to look at it, he'll laugh at it later. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and now we move on. What the fuck are you talking no, about? Just don't even worry about what we just talked about. Just continue on. 
Is it a fucking should I Google it right now? No, no don't do it. You it's not even worth it. I'm scared, man. Is it like some kinky Japanese porn site? Uncle Ben, dude. Fucking hopefully Japan four. Japan it's three. Japan-, Japan two. What? Uh, so this scene is awesome. Yeah, this scene is good. <laughs> you missed the part oh, where she licked. Freddie got carrot. fingered. <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, that's what. That's exactly what it is. It's not also something we did a long time ago, but yeah, it's not that at all. <laughs> he fingered me. <laughs> <laughs> Why haven't we done that movie? Dude, that movie's oh. so good. That's worth it. That or fucking Stealing Harvard. Stealing Harvard's a- Oh, look at them titty. Hey, it's the Anything But Nachos guy. He's dead. Rest in peace. From uh, Angels in the Outfield. Anything yeah. But Nachos. Dude, I just want to shoot a fat ass nut in the in All that All over hole. his face? In that hole on her shirt. In that hole on her shirt? That's why she got the hole in her shirt, dude. It's mm-hmm. like a bullseye calling to me. She got the chest of a little boy, man. That's why she's not wearing a bra, dude. That's why I want to shoot that nut on it. I love all titties. Look at those fucking classic Small generic big. Cheetos that he's got on his... He's got Captain Crunch and fucking Cheetos. Classic. Who does that? Is me. Dude, what the fuck is going on in this movie? Somebody catch me up. So they're on TV. The fuck, is the- dude, you're too fucking dumb to understand the greatness that is the writing of this movie. <laughs> One of the best things about this movie is Tenacious D is in it. I know. Let's clap for that. No, thank you. I pity that. was them. Aaron clapping. <laughs> Bullshit. It's not just the fact that we're doing a podcast and I'm not, it's hard to pay attention. I've tried watching this alone by myself and then both times I'm like, what the fuck is happening? It's just like a, it's just like a whole bunch of scenes that don't make any sense or add up to anything to me. But listen to me, listen real quick. First of all, when you were watching it, parental advisory, did you have your cock out? When you were watching it? Was I not getting the full experience? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. You have to have your cock out when you're watching it. And you have to be slowly stroking every time Polly Shore's on screen. Yep. Yep. Duly noted. Here's the great scene where they kiss through the window. There's people around. Cool. Cool. <laughs> this is fucking awkward mm-hmm. as shit. And there, this is like a soft porn. I want to really see cool. the I want to see the two girlfriends fuck each other. Oh my god, yeah. Look, see how do he get how do he touch her within the glass? <laughs> it's amazing, stupid. It's like a dome within a dome. It's a dome within a dome. Why are they in the dome? Just tell me why are they in the dome, dude? Because they thought it was a fucking mall. Weren't you paying attention? And they went in there and were pissing. Remember, they snuck past the cop. Fucking went in there and they were pissing, and they got locked in, and everyone freaked and they, out. And why won't they let them out? Because they because can't, they can't for a the year. The doors dude. can't open for a year. Okay. So, oh, are all these people supposed to fuck each other? Yes. I mean, Hopefully. That's that's why it's man. a point. Look at this. This is like the egg foo yan. Dude, his mouth is so wide, I could fit my whole cock in it. <laughs> he speaks. <laughs> that was his first line in the movie, actually. Was it really? Yep. No. Soy. Come right out of my asshole. Little buambe paparica. Spice it up. I'm so fat. <laughs> no, you're not. Hey, I used to say, listen. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Listen. Mwah. Mwah. They want a cigarette. I used to go to, uh, I used to leave my study hall to go to Zach's study hall with, uh, what was it, Mrs. Worth or Mrs. Yeah. Wright? Mrs. Worth. She's so hot, dude. God, mm-hmm. I really, really wanted to fuck her. Hey, Mrs. <laughs> Worth. But anyway, I'd go in there and I'd say, nobody likes, and he would, pre- we pretty much finished that line, and then I'd say, Devon a cigarette. Or I would just randomly say, Devon a cigarette, and he would fucking just, be doing something and just bust out laughing and Mrs. Worth would be like, don't do that. I think she just hated Polly Shore, man. She just hated Shit. Shore. <laughs> I think it just turned her on and she got a little moist what, downstairs what, and didn't want me to... What's her name? Mrs. Worth? I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure. Was she was thought. Mrs. Was Mrs. Worth the one that was concerned that pud was a bad word? 
No, that was but, high school. That was high school. Uh, that was later. Where they what, get are you talking fu- about when I said I don't told get, give your bl- the pud thing? Yeah, <laughs> don't be a pud. Give your blood. <laughs> Dude, that was so great. She oh, look, he's the it. weasel. He's the weasel. This is fucking weird. Why, where'd they get all this cosplay shit? <laughs> From In, uh, Comic-Con? Dude, this just makes me uh, wish he was the weasel. It's the big tease. He is the weasel. Listen. You could, dude, you could take the weasel daddy. off the head, but you can't take the head off the weasel. Wait, so why is he, <laughs> is this just like an inside joke? Why is he doing this? Dude, this is them back in the day, look. And he was acting like the weasel? So he couldn't go to sleep. They were sitting there, and he's like, I can't go to sleep. And he said, remember those times back in the day? And then he visualized. We don't got to explain sleep. it to him, man. The fucking, oh, the, fuck. the intricate subtleties just go over his fucking head. We can't explain this shit, like... <laughs> To this fucking He's like the guy on the couch here. right there. Hey, yo, guy on the couch. You kill my dog? <laughs> yeah, yo, I, I believe, believe him, him yo. I believe him, B. <laughs> yeah, I believe him, B. If I were you, I'd go out and hump for the next year. We need that. Sh- <laughs> we, need to, we need to find out how to get that shirt and send it to Aaron. <laughs> I, would you wear it? <laughs> the one he's wearing, and we'll put Mac and Zach Save the World on it. <laughs> And it'll be both of our heads instead of theirs. No, we'll just keep theirs. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey. I keep oh, thinking hey, he's Zach. just a... Oh, go ahead. Zach, I was going to tell you, it's kind of d- totally sidestepping, but I just remembered, you know, um, our friends at the R-rated uh, commentary, right? R-rated horror channel commentary. Mm-hmm. So I got a message that um, <laughs> they're, uh, we're getting sent something. That uh, was found while thrifting, and uh, so I get a I get a message from Josh James, the guy uh, he runs the channel, and he's like, "So which one of you guys is a bigger Ernest fan, you or Zach?" And I'm like, "I don't, I don't really, I don't know." Uh, and he's like, "I found something, and I gotta send it to you guys." He's like, and I'm like, oh, "What is it?" He's like, "I can't tell you." <laughs> I can't tell. You. He's like, "But I, I have to send it to you. I, I, I was thrifting, and it's just insane." And so I guess he's sending it. Uh, I, did, I didn't know your address, so I just gave him my address. Uh, he's like, be on the lookout for it. I'm hoping it's a giant cardboard cutout of Ernest with the hole in the mouth cut out. Um, and if it's <laughs> something you're He's gonna, like, I don't want Zach to have this fucking gift. I want it. No, f- I'll fucking gladly give it to you if it's something that you like. Um, well, you're going to give it to me, period. <laughs> yeah, fucker. <laughs> If, but You're going to actually give it to me. I'm thinking, what could it be? Because it surely isn't just like a VHS. Because that's not like, you know, that's not like, oh, it's of course that's what you think you would find. I wonder what it could be. I don't know. I, the weirdest thing it's involving Ernest. Dude. The weirdest thing involving Ernest I've ever seen was like a picture of a, what what's that movie called? Um, Sorority House Massacre or Sleep Slumber Party Massacre. And for some reason, Ernest is fucking head was one of the girls like that's fucked up it was oh a my god of it. i don't know i don't know what the fuck it was but yeah i remember seeing it years ago people had them exactly. if that's what it is i get it automatically because i guessed dude i ha- <laughs> I have the greatest idea we should change our name our podcast to the force of squirrely that's what it should have been called from the beginning yep we are gonna, the force of square. When, you know, that's the thing. That's the thing. Whenever we get our DeLorean and we go into the future and change it to Mac and Zach to the future, we need to remind our future selves to go back and change it to that in the past. And then we need to change it later on to saves the day. Exactly. At first, it'll be saves the day instead of saves the world. And then at the end, it can be saves the world because we got to go to the past, the present, and then the future. Sure, buddy. Purple sticky punch. Purple sticky punch. It can make a fine rope. All I think about is purple people eater. So what do you think of the movie so far, Aaron? Oh, it's absolute shit. I want to be dead right now. Oh, we can you arrange that. Liar. You love we can this arrange movie. that. <laughs> it's not good, man. I'm waiting for you guys to just like cut the act and be like, ha 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 ha. Finally got you to watch this piece well, of shit. Well, guess what, motherfucker? You're staying until the end. You fucking bitch. We got bitch. you for the rest of your dying life. These guys copied Joe Dirt, motherfuckers. This movie but was they're... first, bitch. 
Jobs after went this. Back, Joe, Joe Dirt went back ah, into dude, the future. This is Bill and Ted. Get it right. Exactly. That's Look, a cool see, that's shirt. A shirt oh, dude, sh- sh- here it is. Here's I Tenacious D, I think. Here we go. I don't not know. Yet. Not time, yet. okay? Check it out. God. Wasn't that Marilyn Manson's girlfriend? Rose McGowan. That's Rose McGowan, yeah. She's a skank. Yep. It's weird. I, I, mean, I never she fucked Marilyn Manson. I never thought she was hot back in the nineties, but then for a while she kind of got hot. But then she got ugly, like she had oh, too much she, plastic she, surgery. Yeah, she's got a bunch of fucking. She looks like uh, bee stings all over her fucking face. She already does with her eyes right now. That's mean. You're such a fucking prick. Look, look, they're Mac. bulging out of her skull. She looks like they're bulging out of their skull. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's hotter of of the girlfriends? Burnett fucking the one with the the Waldo shirt on, dude. Doesn't Jennifer Tilly? Didn't that whole vo- in her voice? Isn't that like the same sound effect that the uh, the 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 gender bending uh, transvestite gremlin from Gremlins too? Doesn't that because like when, yeah. he, when he sees the, the female gremlin, isn't she just like going? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, with the lipstick? and she's like, <laughs> and he's like, fuck it, I'll I'll let her suck my dick. Uh, oh, oh! Look at that with right the head, spicy, oh. sharpy ass teeth. I gotta tell you, I'd love to do Gremlins too. And am I the only one that actually likes Gremlins too as much? It's not more than the first one. I love, dude. Gremlins I love too. Gremlins too. It's so fucking weird and just it's got sticky. more action in it, dude. Rambo it, style. It's a giant fucking cartoon, is what it is, and I love it. Yeah, dude. Phoebe Cates was hot. It's okay, dear. I hear him too. Yeah, she was hot in that. Um, let's go. The movie's got fucking Grandpa Monster in it, dude. It's awesome. I know. I have that on Blu-ray. <laughs> I bet you do, you little fucking prick. I don't have the first one. In I bet the- you masturbate to it, too. You don't got this movie, though. I got this movie. You wish you had this movie, bitch. Now, why don't you shut the fuck up? Yeah, why don't you move over and let's take us over. All right? Let's get back to it. <laughs> Nice uh, gang. Hey yo, hey yo, uh, Aaron, I'll trade you uh your green ones too for this deep. Fuck no, I ain't gonna do that because this movie's better. <laughs> you want this movie, but you ain't ever gonna get it. That would be a shit. I don't think Aaron's here anymore, man. I think he let us take over. I think he killed himself. I'm here, man. Oh, fuck. I think he hung himself by his fucking microphone cord. <laughs> I think he was hanging by his neck in his fucking closet. Hey, mm-hmm. so wait, 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 let me get this straight. When I try and watch the movie, you're like, oh, he's fucking killed himself. He's done. I'm trying to watch the movie now. Yeah, you want to watch this movie because it's a great movie. This is the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. No, it's Fuck not, you. dude. You're just not watching it, It is dude. the We're worst talking. movie I've ever seen in my life. It's because all the jokes go over your head. What jokes? I've yet to hear a joke. <laughs> the whole movie's a joke. That's the thing. Yeah, the movie's the biggest joke of them all. We all Sit get made a piece of shit. It's a post. It's a POS. It's a posse. Exactly. You just don't get it. I guess I don't. Fucking horrible. So we should just start porking. Polly Shore's got uh a big thick dick that I want to no, suck. No, <laughs> how, how many good Polly Shore movies are there? There's obviously Encino uh, every Man. Single one of them. No, there's Encino Man. There's obviously Son in Law. I mean, what am I? What am I forgetting? Biodome duty in the army now. No, in the army now. I could do without fucking, Danny Day. Fucking uh, goofy movie. Ah, pff, we're not gonna count that. <laughs> and don't forget, oh, fucking Polly Shore is dead. And then his fucking one movie where he adopts a kid. Exactly. What is that? It's called Adopt. And then he had like a Lifetime fucking movie. No. He did. He did? You don't remember that? We watched it at your house. Never seen it, but I'm sure it's amazing. Remember he he worked at like a bar and like he helped him make like this fucking hooch or fucking he helped him make alcohol. Like a uh, moonshine or some Holy shit. Holy shit, yeah. I, I vaguely remember, remember that. Remember it we was wa- wa- undoubtedly, like, though, fuck? even though I forgot about it, it's just because it was so fucking good. It was. <laughs> it just escaped my mind for a little bit. It happened to anybody. You know who that fucker guy, you know who that guy is? That guy is right there? 
Looks right. like he came from fucking Buffy the Vampire Slayer. No, he's the guy that watched Marky Mark jack off in Boogie Nights. And he's like, I just like to watch. And they fucking ended up beating the shit out of him. He was doing, awesome. he, you know, he was doing fucking uh, prostitution for money. And that guy got in the car and basically said, I'm not no faggot. I just like to watch. And he's like, watch him fucking beat his meat. It just sounds like you watched a gay porn. That's that's all I'm getting out of this. It was so a you scene watched in that movie gay that porn, might as well been gay porn. And you would rather watch that than watch this. That makes you, perfect sense. What are you talking about? Remember that gay porn you showed me? Fuck your butt, man. <sighs> Fuck your butt, man. Fuck your butt, man. Yeah, I remember he showed me what this up? gay porn once. It was like from Dude, the Dude, I forgot 70s. all about that. That's fucking it's, hilarious. It's from the 70s. It was this greasy fucking guy. He's fucking a, a kid that looked like uh, Brad from <laughs> Home Street. Improvement. He looks like Nick Carter, dude. He looked, like, he looked like Brad from Home Improvement. And he just goes, oh, oh, fuck your butt, man. <laughs> oh, fuck your butt. It was great because he showed it to me and Philip. <laughs> I don't understand how I find this shit, too. It was well, it, dude, the what funny thing for? was, it was well into like 40 minutes. It's into the video. Oh god, <laughs> <laughs> dude! I just Why? saw I saw the picture of him, and I thought it looked like the funniest fucking thing ever. The dude looks like a huge creep. Did he not, Zach? Uh, no, he actually looked really stunning. He was fucking sexy. Why? Yeah, he fuck? had like the mustache, and when he was just saying "fuck your butt, fuck your butt," He's yeah, like, fuck your butt, man. Like I'll see like pictures and shit and i'll be like oh my god like you scroll through and you see like all of it and you're like what the fuck is this so then you gotta investigate it speaking of that zach did you watch that one yesterday i fell asleep i haven't yet. don't act like don't fucking lie dude you watched it you jerked it and no then you fell i would asleep. just tell you if i did i i fell asleep didn't watch anything see we Damn. we actually did a comment i actually last watched night. it after we got off the phone i was like you know what i'm gonna watch it <laughs> yeah, we did a co- we did a commentary last night for well, you'll find out later because we'll release it later. Because uh, the thing just, is, Mitchell's actually not going to have internet for a while because he's moving, so we're going to save that for later so that it's not like we're going too long. But anyway, yeah, at the end of the commentary, we were talking about like you know, oh man, when this is over, I'm going to jack off. I can't wait to get no, it's down not, and jack it, no, off. that's not how it happened, man. Don't let them know that we do that. Just let them know what we were doing. We were going to do a podcast on who's the hottest porn star, and we were talking no, about it. No, now you're getting all, you, you fucking making my long story even longer, motherfucker. Anyway. Dude, I was doing it Star Wars way. I was going through all of our old episodes, the backup files I had, and I was telling him that, like, even after we get done recording, we still, like, there's so many episodes where we just kept talking. And like I was listening, I was cleaning out these backup files, and I, I landed on one where we were talking about like, oh yeah, man, we 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 both went to Pornhub and we were just looking at the porn star section, like, oh yeah, that chick's hot, yeah, I like jacking off to her. They were rated like, this? <laughs> yeah, number one. And you ever hear this chick? Best. Oh, she's my favorite right now. And I was listening to that, and I was telling him about it, and he's like, man, we should have just released that. And I was like, I already deleted it. But anyway, what what was I getting to before I got sidetracked? Fuck your butt. <laughs> yeah, the oh, gay no. dude. That ended oh. a long time ago. Oh, okay. I forgot. I was going to say. We were just uh, talking about why you <laughs> fell asleep. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, yeah. It We just ended and I was like, man, I, I can't wait to fucking jack off. And then it was so late that I fell asleep and didn't jack off. And then I woke up and I was actually bummed that I didn't jack off. You realize like all these people that wanted to watch this are like, why the fuck are they not talking about this movie? And why are they talking about jacking off? The movie is fuck shit. Them. I mean, I, fuck, fuck you. Fuck all you. On the topic of you fucking kidding, sending that gay porn. First of all, you're that kind of friend. Uh, don't. I'm ever, his cousin, man. I have to do that. But I'm saying like, it reminds me, my brother did that to me one time. Uh, he IM'd me like back on like fucking windows messenger no way. back in the day um, oh yeah and, yeah and he's like oh man check out this sweet iron maiden fan site best the beast.com <laughs> best the beast. So com. and obviously it did sound like iron maiden like best of the beast their uh their anthology and their greatest hits best the mm-hmm. beast.com i clicked on it it was a pig fucking a guy for god's fucking sake and, all kinds yeah. of shit. and you couldn't stop watching it right so you oh. watched it <laughs> You It's like the homepage had like this like almost like gif of this horse just blowing a fucking gallon of milk on this chick's face. 
So when you jacked off, how long did it take you to come? Is what we all want. <laughs> <You big fucker. laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so back to the movie though. This scene is pretty fucking awesome. Every so, scene like, is fucking they, awesome. So so to catch Aaron up, they snuck out of the room. They got grounded because they collected that they released all that guy's fucking animals and bugs. And they used sticky paper to fucking get them all back. So they're pretty much all dead. So they locked him into a room and they broke out and they found the food because they were starving them. Yeah, they're getting ready to fucking eat all the the month's worth of food in just one night. I thought those canisters were like Return of Living Dead canisters. They could have been. <laughs> you know, you know what? All, all Is I that can't laughing gas. No way. I can't stop you thinking can't. about the fact that this movie has uh, forty five more minutes left. No, dude, no, 65. That's, that's part of the credits, no, dude. No, this movie has 55 minutes. This movie has almost an hour fucking life. Dude, fucking that's part me. of the credits. Don't let it fool you. Wait. Dude, look. So they're doing they're doing laughing gas. No, it's 45 minutes. Fuck. Aren't you pissed off that we've already like went through half of it and it seems like it just started? Right? Look. <laughs> oh, I'm study. Oh, I'm study. I don't even know what the fuck he says there. <laughs> <laughs> so the best part is coming up. Which is so fucking funny. All right. Brace me for it. I'll, I'll give it a fair go. Here you go. Yeah. Let's just, let's cut this real quick and let him see it. Is it here? Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> is this it? Yeah, it's it's right here. Here <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, here. <laughs> Squirrely! You feel anything? What do you think's in that syringe? Look, look. <laughs> I got him right in the nipple, dude. Right in his fucking heart, dude. Right in his Nothing. nipple, too. Nothing! I'm See, talking too close to Mike's. I is- the funniest part yeah, was listening funniest, to you guys fucking crack up. It's funny because like he threw it at him and it just somehow ended up <laughs> him just, being that that crooked and not even looking towards him. It landed perfectly right into that fucking part. Look at him. <laughs> 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 there it is. Another Ghostbuster scene getting all pissed off. The desert? But we'll starve. So now they're getting kicked into the fucking desert area. I need to see more of the the two hot chicks. Like, why are they not right? Like, in this why are they not do- fucking? They're not doing anything. Yeah, they need to have their clothes off. She, they kind of, kind of, they kind of looked like they just came out of Alien. Yeah, kind of. They just woke up from hypersleep. Yep, I'm getting ready to f- be fucked. Dome within a dome. So they're gonna go start their. So if you don't know right now, they're gonna go start their own biodome, a dome within a dome. So don't come knocking on their doors. What they're saying. So Aaron. Basically. So earlier when you were like they leave. So this is pretty much. We're gonna cut the cord here and say this is pretty much when they leave. <laughs> and I I still think that Polly deserved a uh, fucking award for this scene. You could see the pain in his eyes. Yeah, for being a, they both should have. You look in his eyes. That's a man. That's a defeated man. That's. Yeah. Right there. That was, this was like deep. This is more deep than in the army now. Exactly. Do they, they're out of the dome or they're still in the dome? Yeah, they're still in it. They can't leave, but they're just pretty much in the shittiest part of it. How big, how big is this dome? Oh, dude, it's one within a dome. So it's pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> think of a dome and then think of one inside of, of a dome. And that should be your answer. Look at them fucking right here. This scene right here, they should have. Won the uh, Oscar, actually. Yeah. See, that's how, that's how big it is right there. You. That's how big it is. Each section has a bunch of shit in it. Yeah, it's basically like they're trying to... There's like a different section for all these different parts. Like, So they got the desert section to grow cactuses and they all that the shit. They want to see if they can survive in this dome for a year. This movie sucks. You're a fucking retard. Why don't you, you sit on you... my fucking dick? 
and then talk about which one sucks. Afterwards. Why don't you sit on my dick and we'll see who comes first? <laughs> well, don't you let him come come in your tum tum dum dum? And we never said that, by the way. Sit on your dick and see who comes first. <laughs> that's, yeah, something, that's something me and Mitchell used to say to people when we were fighting with them on Xbox Live. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of get their reaction. We always won. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna steal it, man. It made me fucking stop for a second. Like, what? I think I said that to you a long time ago. <laughs> like, whenever we first started talking together and doing the podcast, I bet he was just, freaked out too. Yeah, you were just like, kind of like, Whoa. what? <laughs> like, who? Excuse me, who the fuck is this guy who could talk to me this way? <laughs> he should have won an award for not breathing on this part. Exactly. This story is fucking amazing. Did too. you this start should've, that? This should have won a, a award for best screenwriter just for this one little story tells. Oh, but it was cool. These actors are fucking blinking. If they were real actors, they wouldn't be blinking. Look at Michael Caine. Next time you watch a Michael Caine movie and look at him in a scene, he doesn't blink once. He never fucking blinks. He's a master. That's just racist, dude. I don't care if he fucking blinks or not. I don't give a fuck if they have their eyes closed, man. Look, they're all fucking blinking. They can wear fucking blindfolds for all I care. You know, sometimes I jerk off with my eyes open. Sometimes I jerk off with my you eyes closed. What the fuck does their eyes have to do with it? it? That's what I thought. I'm pretty sure you'd have your eyes closed if you sat on my dick. I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for that, people. I don't. See, he's pretty much turning into a. He's a but dude, a psycho. I just want to jerk off and shoot it on her tits. <laughs> There's a tasty dactyl. So they've pissed that guy off beyond belief that he just does not give a fuck about. Well, they them. they just picked up that. Fu- they, just, they, they just picked that lizard up willy nilly. Yeah, just, they eat it. Watch. I'm gonna eat with the frog legs. Squirrel, wait, look a key. <laughs> <laughs> there they go. Really? And that this is when it easy. becomes Bill and Ted's new excellent adventure. No way. Wait a second. What? How do they... They really left a key there? <laughs> Somebody just left a key. Zach, remember that boot we got on our car and all those fucking tickets? Exactly, yeah. It's just like it. It's like Homer in the boot when he goes to New York City. Simpsons. It's coming up to one of my favorite lines in the movie. Oh, I'll man. tell you when. Is this one going to be disappointing as well? So that you can oh, bask no, it's in the right glory. Now. It's right here. Dude, this makes me... Dude, when they get this, the big... Bu- the gulp busters or the fucking... All right, nut- shut the nutters. fuck up. This is the line right here. Right here. Best fucking scene ever, dude. <laughs> oh my god. I is got this homo- is, is this guy homosexual? Yeah, dude, he's uh, gay. Hopefully. Is Arizona Tech a real fucking college? I live in Arizona. I never heard of fucking Arizona Tech. <laughs> it's by the Biodome. Oh, okay. <laughs> but that pizza, dude. Get off my goddamn! Somehow he threw him off the car by just turning a little bit and then turning. Isn't it? Again. Is, you know what's funny is he plays a fucking pizza boy. I think he plays the pizza boy in uh, Men at Work. I think that Best sounds pe- like a porn. That sounds like a gay porn. <laughs> Men at Work. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds like a. You guys have never beast. seen Men at Work with Charlie Sheen nope. and Emilio Estevez. I have it DVR'd. I Do don't that, you, go to watch porn sites that? like that. I have it DVR'd. Ready you to watch? Ever seen it though? No. That movie I would love to do a commentary on. I fucking love that movie. It's great. Well, we're doing a commentary for this because this is a better movie, bitch. No. Yeah. And it's about to get even better, motherfucker. Um, oh, man. It's got about 38 minutes more of better. Fuck. Dude, I just I just realized our, we have dirty mouths, man. Yeah. Well, I don't know about me and Zach, but I know Aaron does. Oh, dude. Here comes Tenacious D and their, all their That's glory. That's what I just said. I, I I tune you out because you're so fucking annoying. <laughs> that's weird because that's what I do all the time to you. <laughs> Those bio dumb motherfuckers. A ka ching ka ching. Uh, you guys didn't invite me to your birthday party. Uh, come on, man, just fucking fax the papers, you little bitch. 
Dude, look at those pizzas, dude. They look so good. I know. I just want to fucking stick my dick in the cheese. Bruce Raw. Dude, can we be Bruce Wall friends? I can't. He's got a piece of pizza and he's eating another one. We should do that to each other with Joe's pizza. I feel weird because it's like I'm on BTM, but I'm I'm being my Mac and Zach character. No, it's totally fine. I'm glad you are. That's the whole point, man. I broke the continuity. I'm extra. I'm no. See, like, so the the way I look at it is when Mitchell's here, my special guests are Mac and Zach. Mac and Zach. Here's here's a here it is. Look. Without Without that, that. fuckers. We need to save some trees. We just want to save some trees. It's so fucked up how like late like. You don't even realize it, but then, like, later on in life, you're like, holy fuck, they just did, like, Tenacious D just did this fucking thing where they were connected a long-ass time ago. Yeah. And they, then, they, bam, Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny. Imagine it just go, all makes sense. being able to go back in time and see this. It'd be like seeing Woodstock. <laughs> Let's say we didn't say some freaking trees. <laughs> Jack Black was not quite as fat. Look at him trying to smash Kyle. Jack Black's so fucking he sexy. Sits it Dude, he is, dude. I'd fuck him. Swallow the gravy. I'd sit on his dick and come. I'd eat his ass. I think that's going to be my new thing is I would eat their ass. So here's where everything fucking goes wrong. Sorry, Zach, go ahead. I decided that because like whenever I was working, I was at work the other night and I was listening to our It Follows and then I started talking about the chick that played Velma in the movie and I said, I yeah. would eat her ass. And I almost fell down laughing because I forgot I said that, I guess. Dude, uh, I, I actually listened to that today, uh, the It Follows podcast. I think it turned out really well. I liked it. Um, did, did it make it you come? It was good. Yeah, it did a lot. Um, everybody out there, if you guys want to bust a nut, listen to our It Follows or It Swallows podcast or we can call it Shit, shit Follows. Um, whatever. Yeah, he hates that movie. It's not a good movie. And this is where you have Blink-182 playing. <laughs> <Bio Dome. laughs> Look at that big giant fucking hog roast, dude. I didn't even notice they had a hog roast there. They really fucked that place up. Which one's Chachi? We're the Biodome 5. <laughs> Which one's Tito? I, I messed the line up. Is that really Blink-182? Or... Yeah, dude. It's either yeah, they... them or it's fucking Big Fish. Yeah, it's either them or just some guys <laughs> that don't look like them at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's Big Fish. <laughs> That's not Blink-22. Dude, if it was Blink-22, it'd be like, oh, I see times. Yeah, he oh, didn't even say yeah. twine. That's the giveaway. Don't play a wanna follow me, a boy just on my yay. Come on, my face. I miss you, I miss you. And sit on my deck. Every time. So we so fucked that those, up they have again, those and now fucking, we all ready. They have those I'm, windshield wiper fluid bottles filled with fucking cum. I'm really thinking about fucking the girlfriends right now. Dude, what's Chung Lee doing there? Oh, fuck. Never mind. She's fucking fooled me. You're trash this place, you phonies. So those were the same dudes that they tried to hook up with. Earlier, they fucking ditched uh-huh. their, their Save the Earth party. So yeah, I'm really thinking about fucking these girlfriends right now. Like, I am hard as a fucking rock. I got Dude, a bone or nothing to do with it. Go to that fucking uh, website I told you. Real quick. Fuck yeah. What? Fuck Dude, the butt. Dude, it's so good. No, dude. Kendra Lust, uh, Thanksgiving. What the fuck is that? Remember that. <laughs> That's the video he was telling me to watch last night after we Dude, finished. Dude, look. The Hooters girls. What part of the video is funny? Like, the setup or? All of it. Dude, the beginning. Pretty much the, the beginning. The sex? No, the sex is great. <laughs> <laughs> the beginning, pretty much. Like, the first fucking, like, 
two to three minutes so, of it. So it's who, fucking hilarious. who's everybody's favorite porn star? Then let's talk about that. No, I, I don't have an opinion. No, we're good. I, that's why I brought it up because I know hey, you look, fucking porn. Encino Man style, right there. Son-in-law and fucking Encino Man style. Aloha, brother. Blink-182 and Big Fish up there on the stage. Hey, he kind of looks like uh, the character he played in uh, Son-in-law where he's in the costume. Oh, my God. <laughs> I or- said Son-in-law and fucking Encino Man, bro. Oh, you did? Nobody fucking pays attention to me. I don't even know why. What I <laughs> try. The, but know Encino I Man. Try. Encino Man. <laughs> Encino Man threw me off. I don't know. I didn't get it, that. Because he's in Son in Law. I know, oh. but like in Son in Law, he's, he's got that Chiquita fucking costume on, but not Encino Man. Chiquita. It's when Brandon Fraser shows my up in Son in Law. Bites the frog. What is that, Joe? Like, where the fuck do they even vanish to? It's like they fucked. They fucked each other like me and Zach do. And that's how we wake up. We wake up behind Joe's Pizza in the fucking alley. And we're like, Dude, oh. the brunette with the strap on fucking the blonde would be orgasmic. Or vice versa. He's got that choker on. Or the, the brunette with the strap on fucking me while I'm <laughs> eating the blonde out would be great right? too. We can work that out. While Mitchell washes and jacks off. I want that shirt that she's wearing so I can wear it. Mm-hmm. She doesn't pull off Chung Lee at all. I'd be a better Chung Lee. I think Aaron just lost his dignity and decided to not be a part of it. I think anymore. he fell asleep. I, I literally thought when you were talking about getting fucked with a strap on, I thought about He the... was thinking about it. Yeah, it was. <laughs> he had a heart on. I was thinking, well, no, I, it went into my stomach, but I was thinking about... Uh, the repercussions of that, I mean, you know, like, I, I don't think you'd be the kind of person to clean yourself out, and I immediately thought of her pulling out and you just shitting everywhere. <laughs> exactly. And then we it, fucking be, rub it, it all over our bodies. It'd be like that scene from Zach and Mary Make a Porno, where you'd be uh, uh, Randall with the camera doing the close-up underneath the oh, fucking God. penetration, and he'd pull Shit out and scene. just shits all over his face. Right? Exactly. Exactly. It's the best scene in a really bad movie so so back to the movie um this faulkner masterpiece pretty much just turned into a psychotic motherfucker and he was they handcuffed him to a tree or some shit and he fucking bit through it or he did something but now he's savage he's so, going fucking savage so now. it's basically like heavyweights pretty much pretty heavyweights much. and also like uh Fucking the Simpsons episode of Camp Krusty. Krusty. That guy him? looks like a mix between Roddy McDowell and like some fucking retard. I was thinking Roddy McDowell too. I was thinking <laughs> Wicker. Warwick. Dude, Roddy Mc Roddy Roddy McDowell is fucking cool, man. He looks like Warwick. I'd suck Roddy's dick. Oh, Warwick Roddy Davis Piper? though. Who said Warwick though? How much money for you to fuck Warwick Davis? Ah, uh, for free, dude. He was Leprechaun. I'd do that I, shit for free. Leprechaun I'd makeup or no? I, Dude, hey, fuck the fucking fidget spinners, dude. I'd have a midget spinner. <laughs> I'd sit on my cock and spin them around. Zach will spin them around and jerk off. Exactly. And he could talk about the fucking good times in Leprechaun in the hood. That was the best one out of all of them. Oh, it's great. The second one, I mean. Leprechaun in the hood. I was talking telling Two. Zach this a few episodes ago, but... Leprechaun in the Hood 1, I think, has a slight edge as far as being a better movie, but Leprechaun in the Hood 2 is funnier. Like, it's got more slapstick shit in it. It's more like the shittiest movie ever, you mean? Like a fucking straight-up B-rated, worse-than-B-rated movie? It's great. They all are, like, man. This, this fucking but movie. But you would think that Warwick could be like, fuck this. This movie This movie wishes it was fucking uh, that caliber. Like, Leprechaun. And it's sad, that, it's sad that they would slap him across the face like that. Like, he's like a true horror Stick to your fucking roots guy, and he stays with Leprechaun, and they just keep fucking shitting on it. Dude, but, like, you know? he got locked in a refrigerator, and he made the best of it by eating a stick of butter. Exactly. <laughs> That's the fucking greatest That's scene. an award-winning scene. Are you sure you didn't shove it up his ass? <laughs> so, so, can weird. we, like, stop this shitty movie now? I'm, I'm, yeah, the dude, troll's I'm getting done. weak. The troll's not funny anymore. Yeah, alright. No, Tell no. No, no. We got fucking... 
20. See? Five. See? Look what we did. He likes the movie now. I fucking hate exactly. it. <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking awful. No, this movie's Dude, amazing. he swallows this key. This is an award-winning fucking scene, dude. <sighs> I remember he got, like, so many awards for this. Especially the scene when he shits it out. We I'll do it. We're going the distance, man. We're already uh, an hour and ten minutes deep into the shit. I'm so fucking gone. <laughs> hey guys, it's three eleven. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Aaron Mitchell likes three eleven. Oh my god, oh, you just what? 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 You, you don't have any redeeming qualities, do you? <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, Aaron, Aaron despises 311. Why? Fucking hate him. Hate him. They suck. They owe me money. They're horrible people. They owe you money? They fucking owe me money and they fucked my wife. <laughs> what? You don't have a wife. That's why I don't have fuck a wife. Fuck my dog. No, they're horrible. They're just a horrible band. I don't know why, man, but just like their fan base, their fan base... They all love the same shit. You find it's some bit this same fan base to fucking Chili Peppers Incubus, and Sublime. Dude. Yeah, Incubus. Incubus S- you don't Sublime. like Incubus? Fuck no, me. Incubus, Sublime, Chili Peppers. Um, but I just don't like them. Like they're just kind of gay, man, and their songs are gay, and they have music. If they were fucking gay, they'd be better. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, right. They're they're like uh, hometown. They're from Omaha, my hometown. And then where I moved I to think, later, I, I think he, they just fucked him in his ass, and he got he just can't. You just can't. Oh, I, I got fucked in the ass by Peanut. That fucker's a fag, man. Peanut Pe- from Jury Duty? No, Peanut in that fucking band. <laughs> Little peanut side shampoos. <laughs> yeah, he has a friend that said that to him. He's like, man, I love I love 311, but man, Peanut's a fag, man. And I thought that was so fucking funny. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got. Yeah, he's Not just that he called him a fag, but like that there's a guy named Peanut. Peanut. Sounds like a fucking dog. That he Peanut. uses that as his name. Peanut was the dog in Jury Duty. We just oh, told was you that. that. Oh, it was a dog? Jesus. I didn't realize it. Damn it, Jeopardy! So you guys ready oh, to end damn. this now? No, no dude. No, homeostasis Zach. is at 1%. We gotta save the world, <laughs> Zach. The no, fuck? Exactly. We're stuck in this. You can't make me fucking sick this This is our scene minutes. right here. This is where we step in. Yeah, you guys got to fucking carry this shit, man. It's a horrible movie. And we got 20 minutes left. Oh, here we go. Faulkner said we didn't have to use those. That's way back there. I was lying. Dude, look how fucking hot they look. Look, Well, not the red anymore. She looks like she has a fucking stupid Scooby-Doo wig on. But the other one with her hair fucking pulled back a little bit. Like someone just fucking went through it. Oh, God. Damn. Oh, here it is. A filter. Filter. Making a filter. Make it a filter. <laughs> Look at all those cigarette butts, dude. What am I going to do with all these butts? Ha! <laughs> you know what they need to do? Bud and Doyle, they should have a podcast. I s- oh, here it is. This would be like, this would be something me and Zach would do. Give her, give him the key. Give him the key. Exactly. He wants the key. Oh. <laughs> Dude, seriously, like. <laughs> oh, it's fucking stupid. It's like Big Ben on fucking uh, <laughs> <laughs> Big Ben Healy. Problem child. He's got a bubbly ass. Not a single hair on that Dude, ass. He's got a nice ass right there. I gave me a boner. <laughs> this is awesome. So, so they tell me that, you know, if I leave, man, you're the one that's going to save this, man. <laughs> that dude's awesome. There's that copy about busting a nut in. I'm really thinking about fucking the girlfriends. I thought he was going to say, I'm really thinking about shutting this shit off. <laughs> that too. I'm tired of it. No, All that'd right, be that'd be a disservice to the people that have fucking requested this movie because you <laughs> have trolled them. One thing because you it. have trolled them, Zach. You're like the Pied Piper of Polly Shore. You've led them. I just want to thank everyone that wanted him to watch this movie. Thank you. I appreciate that. You rock. It's the worst I didn't fucking troll movie. Them. I tr- I'm trolling them by saying that I trolled them. It's within a tr- he's trolling within a troll. By the way, like. 
I, I, I realized like not that long ago we were talking me uh Aaron and Todd and the other guy from BTM and like Aaron said something implying that oh yeah Zach you 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 know Brendan Fraser you like him right and I just laughed at his fucking face I was you thought I was serious I like Brendan Fraser <laughs> fucking <He does>. idiot <laughs> He likes he, his favorite movie with him is fucking uh, the Looney Tunes movie. Back the in action, one, the second one. Fa- I don't know why you know that, but yeah. What about that movie? Uh, bl- what about that movie? Blast in the Past. My stars. That fucking Negro. movie's hilarious. Actually, me and Zach used to laugh at that fucking movie, and I remember crying to the to the scene where the kids fucking like making faces at him in the grocery store, and I would fucking literally cry. That's probably like the only movie he's in other than the Mummy, right? Just kidding, Encino Man. <laughs> oh, Airheads. Airheads is good. Encino yeah, Man's dude. Good. Can't fucking disrespect him. Ate my boogers. I, I like like two or three movies. That's it. That's all he did. He no, looks like he's ass in a now. shit ton, dude. Dude, it was a joke. No he's shit. He's a shit ton, dude. <laughs> so, dude. So, dude. What's up, dude? What we want to do? And I drown one of them in the Baskus Lake. Dude, there's that midget we're going to spin. Warwick. Yeah. Warwick actually listens to this and he's like, you guys are my favorite. Fuck you guys. You know what I was thinking? Colonic cannon. What were you thinking? (laughs) Oh, it's uh, Phil Lamar. Phil, Phil Lamar. A.K.A. Marvin from Pulp Fiction, A.K.A. Uh, Hermes on uh, Futurama, and A.K.A. Vamp in the Metal Gear series. A.K.A. the guy I fucked in the ass last night. Vamp was played by that black dude. Vamp's weird, dude. Vamp is the fucking weirdest character. Because he's bisexual, dude. Yeah, he's a weird bisexual fucking vampire character. But uh, Who was he a lover with? Who was it? Um... Fuck, I can't remember. I can't, I can't remember. Either. Zach. But I out. I loved how Vamp like came back, you know, in the fourth one, fourth Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, dude, like, and him and Raiden had it out. That yeah, was like my he, favorite like, scene like he ever. Was dude. Like the, yeah, he became like a really Fox. Key, Yeah, he was he was good. But yeah, Phil Lamar, he's a great voice actor. Yeah. He didn't he didn't do Drebin too, did he? I'm not sure. I think he did. I think he did him and fucking Vamp. He could have. Man. Save to dance. I want to play Metal Gear Solid 4 now. Yeah, right? After all the fucking 20-hour scenes. I would do a commentary on just all the cutscenes because there's like fucking hours of cutscene. You can, Yeah, we could just go to YouTube and do that. <laughs> We'd be up all night. Yeah. Sp- We'll pause that for a minute. So here's Faulkner. They fi- they finally show him. Look at him. <laughs> Somehow he grew a fucking beard within that time. I mean, time did go by, so. It's been at least like a month or two. Three. It appears time just finally ran out for the old cocksucker. His hairpiece is 24. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. That ruined I it, still- though. I was I was playing a joke where I wasn't gonna say anything. I was gonna say now Zach fucking left because he can't stand the movie. And then I, I was gonna show up. I was just gonna whenever you guys stop talking, I'd say like, "Oh, I just got back. I just took a shit, but I couldn't resist to drop that little nugget in there." So what's really funny is somehow the dome is within a dome, and now he's got like a secret under fucking underground lab. No. So what the what? I don't get it. Why is everybody having a? Why is there a vigil outside? What's going on? I don't fucking know. Can we end this now? No, man. We got fucking uh, fifteen minutes, if that. I mean, I'm really thinking about fucking the girlfriends, though. Dude, that's the credits. Don't worry about it. We got ten minutes, twelve minutes, hopefully. God, this movie's shit, man. Look this at this is shit. Lo- Look, so he just ate that fucking parrot within that time. Oh, he ate it. Whoa. Yeah. I don't care. Ninety percent. Close. So, well, all I can say is we just start jerking each other off. I appreciate these recommendations and these requests, um, but man, if we're gonna go '90s nostalgia, I'd rather do a Sinbad movie because I like Sinbad movies. 
I'm all down for first kid. I wish we did first kid. Why can't we do fucking first kid? I told you I wanted a I wanted a first kid. Why couldn't I get a first kid? You telling me you don't like the shore? Oh, this is a scene here, baby. Oh god. So here's the soft porn scene finally that we've all been waiting for. I want to see her take a shit on his chest. Oh Me god, too. it's great. And she does it through the fucking potato sack or the onion bags that they're laying on. Oh, look at Doyle's bowls. <laughs> oh, baby. I was looking at it too and that fucked up. Oh, dude, see, we I knew he was gay, Zach. Making my it. mouth water, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her fucking... I love how they're not wearing bras, dude. It's fucking great. Oh, look at that ass. Oh, fucking A. She had now, this fu- is Biodome. She had this a- is where it really this, starts. This is... Well, he's like put a finger in his crack. Wait. I have a girlfriend. Wait, I'm gay. <laughs> Me and Doyle. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. He's going mouth deep. Tongue deep. That's what I do to asses. I would trade up. Kylie Minogue's much better. Look at this fucking guy. See, I feel bad for that actress. Imagine having to let that fucker put that tongue in your mouth. Well, dude, he Kylie Minogue had to make out with fucking Polly Shore, man. That's hey, that's good. great. I would do that. I'd be like the stunt for her and I'd let him put him his out. cock in my mouth. Yeah, dude, I wouldn't eat piss in my mouth if he wants. I was talking too close to Mike again. <laughs> Off of the door, what the fuck? I'm really thinking about fucking his mom. Corey G, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fucking Corey G. Fuck that guy. Get the fuck out of here, Corey G. I'm really thinking about fucking putting his face on a t-shirt and putting the gas mask on it. Zach, you're the Corey Dude, G so of great. fucking Polly Shore. I mean, Corey G... <laughs> Corey, Corey G is to Steven Seagal what you are to Polly Shore. What do you mean I love Polly Shore? I ain't fucking trolling, bitch. You can suck my fat ass nut. You can suck my dick and fucking like it. But the part of the body money daddy say. Bring out the body out the body money anyway. Me. I'm just a poor boy, whatever you call it. You are no real man. You saw it. It keeps coming on day after day, son. You fake! You, don't want you should do that as the I'm intro. Sick and tired of people treat me this way every day. <laughs> <laughs> to you all should. the people that think I'm strange, and I swear I'm here locked up in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking I wish you could do uh, do that shit at the intro, man. I fucking die. I told him already a million times, but I fucking die when he did the fucking twist cover at the start of your like. He does like he does it. He did it with fucking. Was it Dr. Dre? What was it? Oh, the next dog. episode? The next episode. You did that, you did that shit a long time ago. I fucking love that shit. It's good, man. I, he did it. Didn't you do it again, too, Zach? In one of our newer ones? Uh, I think the first time I did it was uh, I did that song by uh, White Zombie. Yeah. Yeah. More human than a human. <laughs> Give me a little next episode, man. Your snoop's good. I just fucked my throat up doing the the Rob Zombie sucking thing. dick. It's a good thing uh, Snoop Dogg's <laughs> vocals are sucking like, dick. Ah, yeah. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's, it's a, a plane. plane. It's the big dog fucking with the insane clowns. I peas. I represent the town. Yeah. Snoop Dogg did a song with ICP. <laughs> Does that blow your fucking mind? He'll do anything for money, man. Yeah, dude, he did something with fucking Corey Feldman. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. It's fucking stupid, man. I love that and, song. And Feldman's like, I mean, if Snoop, if Snoop likes it, I mean, if I have Snoop's blessing, then I must be good. I, like, Snoop will do anything for money, <laughs> you fucking meth. Dude, you know what else is great we should do? The fucking Puppet Master movie he did. Oh, uh, yeah. Was <laughs> With it, demonic the, toys. Yeah, versus demonic toys. Are we going to pretend so like great. we like that movie now? <laughs> <laughs> Zach, exactly. we like that movie. Don't lie. Do you remember that? I remember that movie, like, aired. We were, we we're like, like, what tra- the fuck is this? 
that was back when you lived with with uh dude i thought that like, was a joke too <laughs> we turned it there late because it was coming on we we turned it there late and we see Corey fellman with a fucking shitty wig on talking like this and we're like dude what the fuck i don't think he had a wig on though i think that was his real hair <laughs> that's the worst he's that old wig. dude that was the worst wig ever so was that mo- that movie wasn't trying to be serious, right? It was just fe- I'm guessing that was uh, like I think it was just Charles Band with his shitty ass fucking budget money. He fucking just to release a mo- movie every two weeks. Charles Band, uh, he's a businessman before he is an artist. You know, he makes those movies and he pumps them out. A mil- he just makes these shitty fucking movies. He literally makes them in a basement of a house. Pretty he, much, he does. And he fucking. You should have saw, I just saw this thing, and I, I think Zach watched it with me, I'm not sure. Charles Band, he pumps those movies out like, come from my stomach. Dude, he was, remember Remember, I showed you, he was talking to the film, and out of nowhere, the two chicks that were standing by him took their shirts off, and they were showing their tits. Mm-hmm. You know what's funny? Remember uh, back in the day, those video zones, remember that chick that used to sell the, the shirts and shit? <laughs> She used to sit there and talk with the puppets and Damn. shit. Damn. Dude, she was she had a fat ass titty. Damn. She had a set on her boy. She had a dude's name. She was named Charlie. <laughs> I think it was fucking I think her name was a uh, It was Charlie Spradling or something like that. Spradding. I think it was Charlie's gonna spread me. And she looks <laughs> fucking weird now. Like more plastic surgery fuckery. I'd fuck her still. I'd suck on that plastic. <laughs> I bet she could bust a fat ass plastic. This nut. commentary took a dump. It did. <laughs> it, st- it started out so perfect. It just is probably gonna go to on the shelf for a year. We couldn't no. just we just couldn't keep it going. How long has it been since we've heard this song? Holy fuck. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking classic, dude. Driving a ninety four sheepdog. <laughs> I suck a whiny dick. I'm a limo driver. And a slimy dick. Stein. Wiki stick. Mr. Boombastic. Tally one dust stick. Oh, oh. Mr. Boombastic. Be your best. Move your back. (laughs) Yeah, fucking... Charles Band though he fucking I think he makes his money from all his rip off toys that they sell and their their merch. Yeah, I mean, fucking, well, I mean, they he's not selling. They any make movies. The, they make these movies for literally the most fucking nothing budget you can imagine. Oh yeah, um, and then they they they'll sell them to streaming service. I know they have their own streaming service too, and all the subscribers there. But I mean, what's that? What's that? Uh, little Kickstarter type thing, Indio Gogo. What in, is it? Indie Gogo. Yeah, so apparently they did that for, uh-huh. like, fans for fucking Puppet Master Axis 3 Termination or some yeah. shit. And there's this guy on the this Puppet Master fan group site on Facebook, and he's all like, oh, I got to do it, and he had pictures and shit. And then you see, like, some of it, and it's like, wow, you just did a fucking shitty-ass movie, and everyone, like, makes fun of him. Yeah, I have a... Uh... They paid, like, thousands of dollars to go do that, so pretty much Charles Band ripped him off. One of my uh, one of my best friends, he uh, he used to do marketing work for uh, Full Moon Features, and uh, Charles Band would literally pay him in like um, movies and shit, movie merch. He like he has a whole shit ton of the actual fucking like toys and dolls from the fucking movies, mm-hmm. um, which is pretty cool because he would just sell them and pitch them online and, and make quite a bit off those. But uh, no, it's the guy's such a he's such a buzz, budget guy. That's- that's actually funny because I have a friend that actually works with me who knows someone who works with Charles Band, and he sends him a bunch of shit that Charles Band gives him. So he probably does the same thing, and he's like, "Oh, I've got like twenty of these that he just fucking keeps sending me." Yeah, you guys, are, you guys remember that story about how uh, back whenever Charles Band put out those uh, he's VHS like, oh, yeah. style. Yeah, he's like, "We found a bunch of old school big boxes in a warehouse, and uh, we're gonna sell them." And then, like, people, uh, I forget what the guy's name, but he runs a website called, like, VHSCollector.com or something, and he basically made this video basically ripping them apart, like, these are reprints, (laughs) and he's like, I have the originals, and 
He just compared him. Oh, yeah, he's just fucking... He's fucking Charles right in the ass. Yeah, he compared him in front of the camera. And doesn't Charles <laughs> Band respond like, to him? Yeah, Charles Band's like, that's ridiculous. I, I don't know what he's talking about. I met Charles Band one time. I mean... At band know. camp? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, no. his brother is so much better than him, Richard Band. He makes some sick-ass music. Sick. Go ahead. You met him. What happened? Did you fuck him? Yeah. What'd you do? Did you suck his dick? What happened? What the fuck is going on here? You're leaving us what? hanging. What are you talking about? I want to know. You're talking about you Char- meeting Charles Band. Finish oh, it. and then you interrupted me. I thought we were done with that. Oh, I met Charles Band. You want to see how he was a really nice guy, but he also seemed like he was really a salesman. Like he was really selling his product. He was really pitching his uh his streaming service, the Full Moon streaming service. And oh, um uh, I remember if you signed up for if you signed up for the streaming service you got ripped off. No, if you signed up for the streaming service. <laughs> well, yeah, no, trust me. I I got the Is streaming that what service. Someone said on the tagline sign up Oh, I got I off. you know, so if you sign No, it was it was an all right deal. If you signed up for the streaming service for like I don't know, man. It was like fucking 3 months or 6 months. It wasn't expensive. Um, it really wasn't, but if you signed up for it, uh, for the, to try it, he would give, he would let you pick out six Blu-rays or DVDs. And of course he would fucking autograph them if that's your fucking thing. And he would also like how that's one thing I love about the full moon website is that you could buy a a Blu-ray or DVD for like seven bucks. But if you let him autograph Autograph it, you can buy it for six bucks. bucks. No, it's fucking cheaper if he autographs it. It's like, so he's basically like even admitting like my name makes this worth less. (laughs) (laughs) But I I went ahead and did it because I wanted like, I I got, he had some Blu-rays I didn't want. Like I got Taurus Trap and uh, uh, Trancers, you know, and shit like that. Um, Yeah. So it was it was okay. There was some and like uh, Castle Freak and. and Oh my God. I remember that movie. It's kind of like a soft porn. (laughs) I remember I went to Family Video and saw it, dude. What's the? Du- isn't it the actor? Isn't it Shooter McGavin? <laughs> no, Castle Freaks. Castle Freaks one with Jeffrey Combs, and you're probably you're you're thinking of a different one. No, it is because it's the it's the on the front of it. He has like half of a fucking monster face. Yeah, I'm gonna look at. And it then right. in the movie, he's like a skeleton at the end of the movie. No, and he fights the dude. That's Dude, that is it. the same movie. I remember watching it. It had seven. It, remember when Family Video had the movies with the black label on them? Seventeen or eighteen years old. It's Jeffrey rent, Combs. They still. It's, it's Jeffrey yeah, Combs. Yeah, Jeffrey Combs and uh, what's her name from Reanimators and Castle Freak. They still let you rent those movies. Remember that, Zach? We'd go there and rent them, and we'd be scared. Look at that. We talked through the ending of this great movie. Oh fuck right? this movie. I feel like we didn't do it justice. Now you want to? You guys just want to restart? Yeah, no. me, I do. I say we go back to like ten seconds in and just we're gonna start this shit right. Exactly. Guitarist Soda Pop Joe Sib. What do you Lewis. think, Aaron? What do you think of the movie? It was a horrible waste of my life. I thought life. it was great. I thought it was the greatest movie ever. That's bullshit. I what? want to suck Polly Shore's dick. This movie's amazing. Yeah, me yeah. too. I agree. <laughs> you know, as far as all these movies that, and I, and I have to wonder if like some of the listeners are trolling us, uh, trolling me, probably. Um, out of all the different uh, things we have on the itinerary, the the schedule to to do as far as requests, I'd rather do the ones first that I want to watch. Man, let me do some earnest. We got to do the earnest. We we got to do uh, goes to camp. We gotta do scared stupid. I'll even do slam dunk earnest. That's probably where I draw the line. Slam um, dunk earnest is the bomb. And I want to do first kid. Who man. is this guy again, Zach? What the fuck you I don't know. About? What's what's your name, sir? The fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about how you suck because you're making all these fucking these fucking great movies, man. You will watch Ernest Goes to Africa if I fucking have to sit there and do fucking Clockwork Orange to your ass. They w- they was a waste. And not to your eyes, to your ass. It was a wasted opportunity. I think when 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 Jason got killed at the end of Jason Goes to Hell and the the arm came up out of the hole and grabbed his mask, Freddy? it should have been Ernest P. Worrell from Hell that was wearing his mask, and it should have crossed over been. into a Jason. Versus Ernest Goes to Hell. They should have man versus Jason. Ernest versus Jason versus Freddy. Absolutely. 
I like your style. Zach, where'd you meet this guy again? He totally came back and redeemed himself. Can, can exactly. you imagine? I always, sometimes I think about other actors, if they would have portrayed Freddy Krueger and they would have put all like the prosthetics on him. Can you imagine Ernest P. World, Jim Varney as like Freddy and they gave him the makeup and the whole deal? I don't know. He's always a bad guy in every movie he's in. You're, <laughs> he, not, not, not in the Beverly, not in Beverly Hills Ninja, man. Beverly, no, Beverly Hills Ninja. Beverly Hillbillies. Oh, you're right. I, at the end, he was. What? He killed the old woman, his his wife. He stuck his dick in her mouth. <laughs> you don't remember that? Yeah, I must it was a whole me. like fucking homicide. Oh lord, homicide. Uh, homie homie side from ICP. It was a homeostasis. Oh, I didn't know we. I didn't know we care a lot was on this soundtrack. I didn't hear it. They could have played that song. Uh, anyway, George I'm the done. jungle, bro. I'm Save fucking- some trees by uh, Tenacious D. Pick it up. <laughs> the five needs. There it is. The five needs. Yeah. It's Never been on an album. He's a whore. That's a great song. He's a whore, bed, da, 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 buddy. That was the Blink One Eighty Two song when they were playing. Yep. Yep. Man, I'm. Feeling- that was when Blink One Eighty Two and Big Fish came together and made a it's, song. It's real Big Fish. You keep saying Big Fish, dude. It doesn't matter. I'm. I, it's like Blink Fish. <laughs> I'll call it small little fish if I fucking want to, bitch. Exactly, One fish, dude. two fish, red fish, blue fish. You're a fucking, you're a word slave. Why don't you come wash my car, dick? And give me your fucking wallet. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> give me your fucking money. I'm just fucking with you. This fucking movie's horrible. I'm glad it's yeah, over. Yeah, we should, we should like end this because I'm tired as fuck. And I was tired as fuck 20 minutes ago. Me too, dude. I gotta fucking get up. Yeah, this fucking retard fell asleep after we scheduled this and made sure like everybody get ready everybody make sure you're ready to record as soon as like 12 30 this was 10 o'clock he told me i had to record at one so i said mm, i'm gonna sleep for like two hours oh yeah because i didn't have an error whatever i called him the first thing he said was like yeah i fell asleep and it's your fault because you didn't fucking get on it <laughs> he's trying to play me yeah dude he's all like he's like this is what he says i'm playing friday the 13th so i figured oh he's gonna do a twitch so i could watch him Fuck, I get off all my shit. I'm like, hey, you playing? I got off. <laughs> I'm like, okay, so I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to sit here, look at my And phone. then he fell asleep, it's so it's my fault. It's 10 o'clock. It's I have to wait another two to three hours, so I'm going to take a nap. Fuck it. You got to take a nap because you a fucking little bitch. Aaron's been up two Dude, it's days, It's all your bitch. fault. It's both your guys' fault. I've been up for two days, and here I am. I got to get You're up. a liar. I got to get up in five hours again. Um, well then, all right. So, but I stayed up to watch this movie to do a service. You didn't watch it though. You didn't. No, watch I, it. I really didn't. I didn't. But I, you know, we made Aren't a you promise. Glad you watched this great movie. You finally watched it. We made a promise that we would fulfill the requests of, you know, the the loyal listeners, and I did. I sat through it. This is third time, and man, I feel dumber. I feel sorry stupid. for anybody. Sorry for the people that requested that, and this is what you got. Uh, yeah, I said that a long time ago too. <laughs> Shit, sorry. maybe we're sorry. But the next one we, the next one we do, I think we deserve it to our to ourselves to do a kick ass movie we like. Sinbad, uh, I did. Uh, we do like Biodome. You're the fucking idiot that don't. <sighs> I'm done. <laughs> everybody, so uh, uh, everybody, go yep. make, make ah, Roads, oh, Roads. Make sure you guys check out Mac and Zach Save the World. I, I was telling Zach this really quick. I'll tell you too, man. You guys' podcast is like becoming my favorite podcast. It re- I wish you guys could do it more regularly. You're um, fucking lying. No, I fucking love it. I we just did one yesterday within a day. I fucking stop lo- lying. I love it. It's no, it's fucking hilarious. I love it, man. Uh, what do you like the most when we come coming? If you, uh, I was telling everybody out there. So if you guys like real slapstick toilet humor, pedo humor, you guys are gonna <laughs> love this podcast because it's nothing but pedo humor. <laughs> oh, juggalo humor. Juggalo, yeah. um, but it's great, and uh, of course, keep the requests coming on uh, the revivalhouse dot net and the YouTube channel. Subscribe, all that bullshit. iTunes, and I will stress it again. I'm pretty sure it's the same with Mac and Zach as w- as well. Uh, go on iTunes because we're gonna have the superior versions of these podcasts on there. They're gonna be kind of neutered on YouTube, uh, copyright reasons and whatnot. Um, Zach puts on the ear candy on iTunes and he does a pretty good job at that. And they're just, they're just funnier. They're better listens. Um, but leave us five star, uh, reviews on there too. And tell your friends, tell your mom, take some naked pictures of your mom and send it to our email address. Yep. Yep. And we'll give you free merch. We don't have anything, but we'll, we'll send you something. 
I'll send you a white shirt with some magic marker that says M A Z S T W on it. <laughs> or we'll come and bleed on it and send it to you. But I also this is gonna All be right, my shut last the fuck up. podcast <laughs> for a while. This is gonna be my this is gonna be my last podcast. So it was do, it was a pleasure doing a podcast with you, sir. I appreciate you letting me on the the show. I appreciate that. And Zach, fuck you. You cool, exactly. but fuck you. I'm out. Let it knuckles. Like three months from now, when this finally comes out as the lost episode, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs>